The number one thing that people get wrong about Bryson's attempt at chasing speed when he was putting on all the weight and when he was doing long drive competitions, the fact that they viewed him as being so extreme was just weird to them. And they didn't actually take a look underneath the hood to see what he was doing and knowing that force times mass equals acceleration. And so what he was doing is by bulking up, he's increasing the mass element of that equation. By getting stronger, he's increasing how much force he can produce. Now, the challenge that Bryson ran into is you're going to have, there's a, a point where your force and mass, your mass gets so high that your acceleration actually starts to decrease. And there will become this point of diminishing return. But there was actually a beauty to this and that the pure science attempt that he took, the all in nature, it was actually a pretty fabulous, I think, experiment or ability to look into how somebody could actually transform their body and their golf game if they took those steps. And then he dialed it back and now he's one of the longest guys out there. So absolutely one of the greatest accomplishments, I think, of modern science that a professional golfer has taken on themselves.